It's May 14th, 2015, and this is the state of my garden this year. This is my first video. I really should have made one a little sooner, but this is where we are right now. These peppers here are actually from last year. I uh, brought them in in the winter, and uh, before the snow melt, they flowered. I pollinated them just with a Q-tip, and I have these peppers right now, and I'll probably be picking them after I take this video because uh, I'm not sure if they're even still good. They've been on for a while. This plant right here didn't take too well to a recent windstorm, knocked most of the leaves off. Hopefully it'll recover after I take the peppers off. It's a really nice pepper over there. Can't see it too well, but it's pristine in color. That one I'm definitely going to consume. <laughs> Oops. I just stepped on. My little runts that are left over. Put those back in there. Yeah, these guys. Oops, hopefully I didn't hurt that guy. A couple of tomatoes and a couple of melons. And these guys are just the, the slowest growers of all the bunch. Like right here I've got some cucumbers. These all I grew all from seed just within the past month or so. This one here is well, wow, even growing a flower. Wow. And here I've got all these radishes which I planted just a couple of weeks ago, maybe a few weeks ago tops and they're just really going really well. And inside uh, all these pots is actually canna lily rhizomes that I cut up uh, about a month ago and so far only this one really seems to be working. It's coming up there. The other ones I don't know if they're gonna come up, maybe just need a bit more time. Here, got a bunch of tomatoes and a few peppers. These tomatoes were all hybrids from last year, from a cherry tomato and a regular tomato. They make sort of a golf ball sized tomato. Really actually quite tasty and I'm hoping, hoping they'll produce the same thing this year. Here's my tree. I'm just sort of back away there. I've repotted that. Got a lot more space to grow. And as you can see, I've been bending this and bending this. I just keep on bending it, but it's pretty much as tall as I'm going to let it go. If it tries to grow much taller, I'm going to have to clip it some. So, yeah, this is the state of my garden. Here we got uh, another failed canna lily. I think it might go. We'll see. And then here is the last surviving, perhaps strawberry, but eh, I think it might be dead. I see all my strawberries. It seems they died. They didn't survive this winter. But I thought I'd give this one a try, but it's not doing anything, so it's probably dead. And that is the garden. I'll make another video in maybe a couple of weeks and things will look a lot different I'm sure. Hope you enjoy.